I'm finding the Covert Hunter is a bow that shoots best when I let it do what it wants rather than trying to micromanage it. Um, it seems to do everything a lot more consistently if I let it have its head, so to speak, and just concentrate on relaxing with the bow uh, and letting the bow do its thing so that I can concentrate more on my responsibilities of drawing, holding, anchoring, aiming, and concluding the shot. Take it with me while we walk and talk here. I mean, I put off buying one of these things for like three years now and come up with every excuse I could to not get one because I pretty much knew when I did it was going to be over my bow buying days. And I think they are. I know I've said it before, but this time uh, there's a lot more conviction involved. You know, you know I'm shooting a little high. These are my first few shots of the day. I actually warmed up with three practice shots before I bothered to uh, set the camera up. But, um, I think I'm ready to go ahead and super glue my knocking points, that's for sure. And I'm pretty dang sure it's tuned. But, you know, I am, I am about, uh, that's about a, not even fingers width group bear shafts. Now, the, the cool thing, you know, the, well, the amazing thing is, this is a bow that's 53 inches long, you know, um, and for it to be shooting bear shaft groups like that, that's that that's like <laughs> maybe plum or tangelo size bear shaft groups with a 53 inch bow, tip to tip strung. That's insane. And that was from in fact 20 yards. I was actually standing a little bit further behind my stake, my 20 yard stake, to compensate for the, about the yard and a half of foam blocks and hog that I have sitting here and front of my target but anyway that's how I'm executing with the uh, Borders Hex 7 Covert Hunter 60 inch bow 45 pounds thanks for watching